By tomorrow, I'll be boarding a plane that takes me to Midway Airport in Chicago, Illinois, and I will be going onto one of Amtrak's most popular trains, the California Zephyr. It starts from Chicago all the way to, I believe, Emory, California. So, I figured I'd make this first YouTube video to document my travels over there. One of the things I'm going to start first is what I'm going to be bringing with me to my pack. As you can see, the main compartment holds a lot of different things, so we're going to go break this down into different categories and see how we have this going. So, over here we've got two packing cubes. Over here are my bottoms and over here are my tops. So over here, normally what I'm going to wear are Western Rise pants. One of the examples would be the Spectrum Joggers. I do have a review of this on my website, so if you do want to learn more about it, feel free to check it out. I do earn a commission, but that does not deter my most honest opinion about these clothes. Second are the tops. So what I have in terms of shirts would be wool and prints. Now I do have a lot of wool and prints tops. They focus mostly on merino. Merino is a miracle fabric for travelers who wear the same shirt consistently without having to worry about taking up any space or having it to smell bad. It is odor resistant. It is antimicrobial, which means that you are able to wear the same shirt for numerous days without smelling. Now for this t-shirt that I'm wearing right here, this is also Western Rise, the X Cotton T, which I'm also currently testing out. It is more of a sportier look, but it does fit the form very well. And then in these two small packing cubes, we've got my underwear and my socks. And for the socks, I will be using darn tough socks. Same reason why I will be wearing the woolen prints. These are made of merino, so they're very good at moisture wicking, odor resistance, they keep you warm in really cold temperatures while also maintaining cool temperature when it does get very hot. Over here we have a packable day pack when you're traveling around. You don't want to take your main backpack in case it does get a little bit too heavy. This one I just found on Amazon, but it has not failed me at all. I will be bringing some snacks with me just in case. I'm not able to get any meals on the road. A travel towel from 4Monster, which you can also find on Amazon. I've been able to use this in numerous different hotels or Airbnbs that have not provided me with towels, and this is a huge lifesaver in those kinds of situations. In terms of toiletries, I will be using Gravel's Explorer Slim. I have also taken this with me on numerous different trips and it has held up very well. It does have a hook on the back that you can use to hang on to the shower curtain or any place that has a bar that you can hang it on. It has fantastic organization, so you're able to sort different things. As you can see, I have a shampoo bar in here that has a designated toothbrush slot main compartment here for deodorant or whatever else you feel like bringing with you. And moving on to the tech pouch or pocket of the bag. I've got some more snacks just in case. Beef jerky, you love to have it. Over here I have a little case that stores my Nintendo Switch games. Way better than just taking a normal case which takes up a lot of more space. I will be taking some cords for both my phone, my computer which also is a USB type C port, a dongle which will also come in handy when it comes to transferring data or images at the very bottom since it will be getting cold. I will be taking the Western Rise beanie and of course a buff but it is made out of merino wool. It's also like the beanie. Moving on to the computer pouch. I have my Bluetooth mouse, and of course I have my actual laptop, which I'm trying to collect stickers for from different states that I could decorate the whole thing with. I will be taking the Lems, I believe, waterproof boulder boots, if I'm not mistaken. I've only been able to test them out a handful of times, but I do look forward to testing them out and trying them in Chicago and Utah when I'm walking around. I haven't used a Zero Drop or, I guess, any shoes without the support but it has been very comfortable so far. I haven't had any complaints whatsoever. And of course, in terms of a sling, nothing goes better with the Air Travel Pack 3 than the Air Day Sling 3. These two complement each other very well. It doesn't take up any space when you're using it as a personal on the plane or walking around in the city. You 
practically will forget that it's even there. Pencil, a notebook for note taking, a wall charger as well as an extra cable to help charge my phone or my laptop. I will also be putting my switch in there. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I will also be taking Gravel's travel blanket. I've been able to use this a handful of times and I can say it does get toasty quickly. So there's no doubt that this will definitely come in handy whether the plane itself gets really cold, same as the train. This also interestingly enough converts into a pillow. You can stuff it inside of itself and you will be able to rest your head on it. Granted you're probably going to need a jacket or something to keep you warm for that blanket since this will be used as a pillow in the meantime. And speaking of jackets, I will be taking two with me. Icebreaker Real Fleece jacket. It's super comfortable, super compact. I have been looking into the Unbound Merino packable hoodie or compact hoodie, but as of now it is at $175, which I cannot do in terms of insulation. The Patagonia Micro Puff or Nano Puff, whichever one of the two that this one is. I do think that it's very easy to layer up without having to worry about taking big bulky jackets. Instead, you'll be able to layer more smartly, which will save space in your backpack. Since I'm actually going to finish packing my bag and make sure that everything will be set for tomorrow, I'm probably going to put my spare sneakers inside of there. And the shoes that I will be taking with me will be the Allbirds Tree Runners. These are the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn. It is like walking and running on a cloud. I use them for everything. Biking, running, walking, working out at the gym, I'm doing squats. These things hold their ground really, really well. And they take up little to no space at all. And just stuff them inside like that. It's all done. So, I am ready to go. So, Tyler has finally arrived, and I asked him to show us what he brought with him for the trip. So I got some simple stuff. I got the packing cube that my friend Eric's got me, and it's got just clothes in here for whatever I need, uh, sweatpants, jeans, you know, shirts, and just clothes, pretty much. I got toiletries, so I got a stick of deodorant, and all in a Ziploc bag. Some, uh... It was this lotion. I couldn't think of it. And an eye cream and a little tube of toothpaste. This pocket is all my electronics. Laptop, charger. I got my switch. I was I was mentioning earlier that I'm also bringing the travel blanket with me. Oh yeah. That also works out as a pillow. Does it? Yeah. It is has like it has. So I'll I'll show you just so I can show everybody else as well. But this is the pouch itself. This is the actual blanket. You can cover two, probably two and a half laps. So, <laughs> five legs. Jason will have to be really close. <laughs> Either that or he's gonna have to like cross his leg. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how this, I guess, the pillow mode works. Um, it does have a zipper on the back side, a little pouch that you can put your hands in, and you just stuff the blanket inside of itself. Yeah. And this is how the pillow is going on. Got fuzz Full on size. It. <laughs> no! I don't want it to break the material. No! No! So, we just arrived at the airport. We just went through TSA security. We're gonna get some coffee now, and then we're gonna meet up with Jason and get ready for our trip. There he is. This is the most collab of the century. <laughs> Finally got Jason, met up with him, we got our coffee, and now we're gonna be waiting for our plane to be called. Plane number two now. Getting ready to go to Midway, Chicago. So we just landed in yes. Chicago. We're finally taking the orange line, and in about an hour, we'll be heading over to the Union train station, settle in, hopefully get some food. I'm starving. Now we're at dinner. Three and some men. Can I get you a beverage? Cheers. Trying this Mexican souffle. What are your yeah, thoughts on the, on the souffle? Hot, but it's really good. Not my kind of thing. What would you rate it out of five California Zephyrs? Oh, out of five? Yeah. A two. 
That's just not my thing. That's not my thing. Corn good. Corn good. Oh yeah. Corn good. All right. Can't go on wrong with corn. Mm -mm. So the main entree that Tyler and I got are the Asian noodle bowls. And Jason, you got... I got the uh, flatwood steak. Flatwood steak, medium rare. We're gonna dig in. Mm. Definitely got hints of um, ginger. It's still really good though. It's delicious. You have a... 2.5 California Zephyrs. It's pretty good. I would rate it like a four, maybe three and a half. What would you rate your steak? Five California Zephyrs. Mix it up here, bro. A little more of the flavor. And what were your thoughts on the steak, by the way? Not a big fan of any blood. <laughs> But quality steak, not bad. Alright. Uh, For dessert, I got lemon cake. Tyler got, I believe, blueberry cheesecake. And Jason, you got a chocolate, chocolate, toffee. chocolate toffee mousse. This, this is really good. This is really good. Thoughts on the cheesecake, Tyler? It's good? The presentation looks really nice. Cheesecake is. Mm hmm. But it kind of makes it with the sauce. It's like raspberry or cornbread. It's premium cheesecake. The time is currently 6 18. I woke up just in time to see the sunrise. I'll be able to get a good view because of all the lights in the houses, but it still looks absolutely beautiful. I should be meeting up with Jason here in a few minutes. He should be on his way. I'm going to be getting some coffee and uh, enjoy the view a bit. We finally made the stop in Denver, Colorado. Only going to be here for 45 minutes because the train's going to be leaving in like an hour. We want to make it back in time. How are you feeling right now? Cold. Cold. But it's so cold here. It is really, really cold. We just got word that now there is a moose, moose, moose running around. Now we're going to try to look for it. It's a moose on the run. It's currently 10.20 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm pretty sure we just arrived in Salt Lake City. We should be hopping off in about, I don't know, 30 minutes and from there we have another 10 minutes to walk towards the Airbnb that we'll be staying at. Jason, what are your thoughts as of now? I'm sleepy, but I'm trying to get to our Airbnb. Tyler, I'm pretty sure, is knocked out cold. He went back to sit down at his seat. I think he's either watching Netflix or he just went to take a nap in the meantime. But once they announce over the PA that we have to return to the seats, we'll figure that out soon. Current time is 7 o'clock in the morning, mountain time. We made it to Salt Lake City last night and we boarded off the train. And we walked about 15 or so minutes to get to the Airbnb. It's a really nice little uh, apartment. Or so. And I gave Tyler and Jason's bed to sleep on. I'm currently on a pull-out mattress. Really exhausted, too tired to... Um, film anything making our way over here but today Jason and I are going to get coffee in the morning Tyler might be sleeping in a bit I think sometime after that we're gonna get ready and go to the City Creek shopping center which is about like a 15 minute walk from here as well it's not too bad and then once we go back I think we're gonna start packing again and get ready for the long trip back we finally arrived to the trail that we're going to take it's gonna be a bit of a walk Air is already really thin. We'll be able to see pretty much most of uh, Salt Lake City. Slippery mud. We're gonna have to be really careful going up here. Finally made it to, I'd say about halfway, maybe three fourths of the way up. Got that much left to climb up. And this beautiful overview of Salt Lake City with mountains on the other side as well. So after 20, maybe 30 minutes later, the top, the peak of this mountain. And it is absolutely breathtaking, both literally and metaphorically. 
absolutely beautiful. I can practically see all of Salt Lake over here. Jason, how do you feel? Snowball. 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 Hi, look. He's doing a panorama. He's a little bit busy. <laughs> we made it back to the bottom of the mountain and we're gonna take an Uber back to the Airbnb. We're gonna clean up and get ready. All right. We just arrived at the La Quinta, which was like a seven minute walk from the train station. Looks pretty nice. So it's close to midnight. This concludes our last day in Chicago. We just did a lot of walking around. Uh, we went to a really cool art museum and then we went to go get some food. And now we're gonna start packing and getting ready to leave the hotel in about like two hours, two or a and a half hours. And then we get to repeat the process of taking the two planes again. And then we are finally home. We just got back yesterday. So I figured we'd do this part to do some conclusions or like last minute thoughts. Me, I had a really good time. This is my first time ever taking a US train. I've only done uh, European trains. I definitely think that it was a very good experience for us three. Tyler isn't here right now, but I think it was a good way for us to um, bond and, and, and kind of put our friendship to the test with, you know, trusting each other's instincts and, and navigation skills and communication, those kinds of things. What are your thoughts? Considering it was my first time going within the <clears throat> States, I believe it was my, it was one of the best experiences I've had since traveling in general. And I agree with having to experience this with friends who you trust is like really powerful, honestly. And I believe that future endeavors with this guy next to me is honestly gonna be life-changing. Well, um, this probably should be the end of the video, so if you guys did enjoy it, um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to try to post more, whether it's product reviews. I'll probably have Jason here help me with some of the product reviews. I do have my own website, if you guys would like to check that out. That's pathfinderpacheco.com. Um, I also have some reviews there. As of now, if you're looking for some things, the video quality will probably get better. I'm gonna try to dabble with uh, video editing and getting used to being on the camera more. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.